One of the most unique things that you can see in amateur astronomy is about to occur when the surface of the moon is slowly covered by the shadow of the earth in what we call a total lunar eclipse, creating a blood red moon at the peak of totality that can be quite eerie to see even if you know what to expect. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the best times and places around the world to view the 2021 total lunar eclipse. If you enjoy this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. But most importantly, let me know about your experiences and questions involving this total lunar eclipse in the comments section below. Let's begin today though with explaining what this cosmic event actually is and take a deeper look at why the moon turns blood red at totality. A total lunar eclipse, like we're about to experience, is when the entire surface of the moon is covered by the darkest portion of the shadow of the Earth, known as the umbra. This creates the blood moon famous with lunar eclipses. If the surface of the moon is completely covered by the shadow of the Earth, why does it turn blood red? Wouldn't it just completely darken and disappear? For that, we can thank the Earth's atmosphere. As the wavelengths of light move through our atmosphere, the blue spectrum is filtered out, leaving the red and orange wavelengths to be projected onto the surface of the moon, creating the blood red effect that occurs for a few minutes at the peak of totality. Now that we understand how a total lunar eclipse occurs and what makes the moon turn that incredible blood red, let's focus our attention on when and where you need to look to get the most out of this lunar eclipse. As with most things in astronomy, your location is gonna have everything to do with whether you have an impressive show or no show at all in terms of this total lunar eclipse. From where I live on the East Coast, there's really not gonna be much to see of anything. The sun's gonna be rising and the moon's gonna be setting as the show really starts to get interesting. For those of you who live within the zone of totality and are gonna be able to see the blood moon, let's focus on the best times for you to view it. For this video, I'm going to be using Pacific Daylight Time for the early morning of May 26th. Be sure to check your local date and time depending on where you live on the planet. Around 2.45 a.m., the fully shaded region of Earth's shadow known as the Umbra slowly begins to make its way across the surface of the moon. At 3.20 a.m., roughly half of the moon will be darkened. At 4.11 a.m., the famous blood red moon appears as totality begins, remaining that way until 4.26 a.m. As the total lunar eclipse concludes, the moon will slowly make its way out of the shadow of the Earth, bringing the finishing touches to this incredible cosmic ballet. If you're able to get out and observe the 2021 total lunar eclipse, please be sure to let me know about your experience seeing it in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for your support and clear skies from Late Night Astronomy.